Hey guys, welcome to part 2 of my first blind playthrough of the game Cuphead. We pick up from where we left off after defeating everything in Inkwell Isle 1. This video covers the fights with bosses of Inkwell Isle 2 where I get a grade of A- or higher. I will give a few tips on the bosses and their specific phases which might be helpful as we go through them. Feel free to skip to bosses you want to see from the timestamps. This video can also serve as a guide to get the boss trophy. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the channel. If you want to support the channel, consider becoming a member as well. Here comes a spooky bunch. Here goes! Mr. King dies, I'm the gamest in the land. I never play nice. For this boss fight, the three mini bosses that you encounter are randomized. My strategy was to try and get my three parries done when the little soldiers start coming out during the second mini boss. The first mini boss is always alone. The second will always be accompanied by little soldiers that come out periodically. During the third mini boss, one more mechanic is added and the main boss periodically shoots at you from the top of the building. I used my super during the third mini boss.
For the last phase, I focused on dodging the main boss's head. It follows you around, so try and get some distance from it every time you dodge. Parry the pink rolling ball if you can to get power charges. During phase two, when you have to break the walls, be patient. Do not run forward since you don't have visibility of where the blade is. For this last phase, be careful of the pyramid whose eyes opens. A horizontal and a vertical beam comes out of the eye that moves as the pyramid does. A great slam and then stop. Here goes. For phase one, be careful of the yellow ducks above carrying a bulb. They will try and drop it on you. The boss can creep towards you pretty quickly, so be careful of his movement and his charge. Try and get as many parries as you can during phase 2. If you are like me, you would have gotten one in phase 1. Save your super for the last phase. <laughs> B 
Phase 3 can be a bit tricky so you need to keep an eye out for the ride. It goes away in the background before charging into the main platform. The best place to hit the boss is from below him as long as you can time jumping on the incoming ride. For this final phase, jump on the platforms when they appear since the ride comes in immediately after. Use your super when you can. Stay on the platforms and dodge the balls that the three birds throw at you. They will disappear when the ride comes in. Here's a real high-class bout. It's on! For phase one, staying at the left edge of the screen enables you to automatically dodge the broken eggs. Try and get some parries during this phase or in phase three. Phase 2, the bird will keep throwing feathers at you. The easy spot to dodge while shooting the bird for me was right in front of it. When it gets tired, try and get a parry to fill your super. To handle phase 3, my strategy was to move away and in the opposite direction of the boss to avoid the revolving eggs. This is a good phase to get your parries done since the boss only throws out pink bullets at you. Using your bomb bullets in phase 4 is the easiest way to deal damage. Try and stay away from directly above the bird.
the gurus are out tonight. Now go! Now go! Reran this round to get an A minus or higher. Feel free to skip ahead to the next boss. And begin!
Here's a real high-class belt. The Lobo bullets that I bought were pretty good for this boss, especially for phase 2 and 3. My strategy was to get my parries done in phase 1 when he throws rings at you. Whenever you see the tail at the bottom of the screen, move back or forward depending on where it's coming from. Do not be too close to the boss since the direction or number of fireballs is unpredictable. Phase 2, keep your eye at the bottom of the screen. If a fire guy stops, be ready to dodge. Do not use your super in phase 2 in case it builds up early. Save it for the final phase. For this final phase, try and avoid hitting the dragon's projectiles with your bullets since they split up and that makes it more difficult to dodge. The dragon will occasionally do a flamethrower beam around the center, so avoid being in the center as much as you can. Use your super during the phase whenever it's ready.
Hope you enjoyed part 2 of my blind playthrough of Cuphead. Please subscribe and push the bell icon to get notification of the upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.